So this is approximately four kilos of Swedish pick and mix candy. And had I gone to a bigger store, it would be even more. I'm kind of glad that I did go to a like smaller, medium sized store. And in the rest of Sweden, we also have stores that are gigantic. I think it was the one called Gottebiten. It's a really, really big chain of like just dedicated to candy and uh, some other snacks and such. But it's so much candy in there. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's one of the biggest, at least I said that on Google. And then we also have Godis Kristallen, Candies, Söta Varuhuset, Godis på Lilla Landet, Godis Giganten, Godis Huset, Segarottan. And then one of the stores that are like really all over Sweden is Hemakvel, what I know of at least. And on top of that, we have even more stores, but I just picked out some <laughs> names all over Sweden that I could find on like Google Maps. Like there's also like even smaller stores and we also have these pick and mix in like regular food stores with tinier aisles or like big aisles where you can pick a lot of pick and mix. We're also one of the top countries to import a lot of candy so I can't guarantee that all of this is 100% Swedish pick and mix. So th there can definitely be some imported things in here also. But if it is, welcome to the Swedish assorted candy system. You're a part of our country now. You're a part of all of this. So when I went into the store, I decided that, okay, I will pick, I will try to pick only like one or two out of each box because it will probably be a lot of candy. And it ended up being a lot more than I even thought. And after a while, my arm was actually starting to hurt because you're like holding two to three kilos like constantly while still trying to push some more into it. So eventually I had to take a carry-on box and put one of them down and start filling another bag. So my plan is that I will pour out all of this candy on this table. I have cleaned the table, so don't worry about that. And see a little bit what we have in here. So that's a lot of candy. So nowadays I can't really handle too much candy at a, a time because I feel the consequences of candy more nowadays than I did when I was a kid. But it's still very tasty to have from time to time. <laughs> this one is actually important. Made in the UK by Switzel's Matlov. I think I've eaten this before, but they are made in the UK and that's okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Swedish mix. And in this video I decided to only focus on the pick and mix because we have a lot of it, it's everywhere. But on top of that we of course have very popular brands of all different sorts kinds. For example we have the very popular brand Marabou. Marabou makes a lot of different tastes and chocolates and candies. Mostly chocolates. I think it's mostly chocolates. But it's like a lot of different in this pile we already have cocoa, we have a regular like milk chocolate, then we have a choco moment. I've actually never tried these because they they look a little bit boring, <laughs> so I've never tried them. Cluetta, which makes kex chocolate, also a really popular one, usually eaten when it's like you're going out on like picnics or taking a hike and you need something with like sugar and energy in them. It's more like a fika. <laughs> Fika candy also makes a lot of different candies and they recently like recent years they've been like doing more and more like different tastes of these kinds of chocolate plop 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 they made a lot of different tastes and it's really good i like that they have like started experimenting a lot <laughs> i really like candy mawam is also a brand really nice like different kinds of tastes and also a little bit of different kinds of forms. This is apple. Then we also have Fatser, Karl Fatser. Then we have candy people, also make a lot of different candies. What are you, Stroopwaffle Caramel? You cannot be from Sweden. Netherlands! So I've named a couple of brands that we've seen in this pile. We also have a lot of other brands like Haupt. I saw some new, new kind of brand. We have a couple of like new brands now and then with some like vegan alternatives and we also have more natural candies and we also have more like sugar-free like a little bit of different for different kinds of people then we also have all greens makes a lot of like all greens are very popular for people to try around a lot of places then we also have tom's makes a lot of like licorice i think bubs aroma so on top of all of this all of the pick and mix that we have 
You can of course buy like regular bags with specific types of candies and like more focused, like, ooh, got to blend that. Uh, yeah, many. This is from Germany, but you know, these kinds of bags. A little bit more focused type of can candies in one bag. Trolley. Glövermichen. Sour Glövermichen. This is like sour glow worms. <laughs> Glöver. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. But yeah, we have all sorts of like these kinds of things, and then we have bigger sizes of these kinds of candies. Really big sizes with these kinds of candies. And then in this pile, we also then of course have the very popular, loved by many, but hated by the rest. <laughs> we have. Oh, it broke. We have licorice. This is kind of salty. This is like a little bit more sweet salty. You can't really see what I'm doing because it's very far away and I'm just picking up tiny things. We have the Swedish licorice fish. These are like also sweet licorice but with some flavors on the inside. It's really nice when they mix it up like this. Like raspberry flavor in here with the licorice. And also on top of all of this we have of course like the old kinds of candies when they started making candies a long long time ago those are also available still to buy at certain places where they still create them because it's fun to be nostalgic and eat like really old candy like how it was in the beginning so me as a swedish person i have actually not tried all of these and from time to time you know they switch it out some candies have disappeared and then some new comes also some of the imported ones because I count you now as part of our um, pick and mix. You are now all a part of us, as we are a part of you. So let's see a little bit here. What do we have? This one. I have never tried these ones. It's like a pipe, <laughs> licorice. And I will not be making ASMR out of this because I don't enjoy AM ASMR. So definitely a kind of like calmer, nicer kind of licorice taste. I didn't taste so much of the pink extra things they put on the top here. Maybe they're supposed to be like raspberry flavors or something. So I will put this in my taste pile so I can eat the rest of it later and I'm probably be satisfied for the rest of the day. Boop. I will also pick out some that are really my like biggest favorites and that I know are really good. Came quite recently. Can you see? Stop focusing on my face. A little bit squishy, it's yellow and green sp like spots on the outside. I really like these, these are really good. These ones are also kind of nice. This is like stripes. Very sugary. Uh, is it strawberry flavor? A little bit sour. You can just rip some pieces off and eat a little bit. <laughs> it was once a round little thing. It's now just a, it's, it's now just a little turd. <laughs> It's been so squished. I'll make I'll make you whole again. Yeah. Licorice, very nice, very nice. So as much as I really like licorice, re licorice are really good. I don't buy a lot of licorice. I usually buy you know more the sweet stuff, and then I mix in a little bit of like salty because it's nice when you pick candy that you pick a little bit of each. Maybe you want some really sweet stuff and then you want some like more chocolate and then you want stuff that doesn't taste too much and then you want some salting. So these ones I also haven't tried. I've, I'm, I'm gonna assume that this also is licorice because it's a typical licorice look. So it's a hard outer shell with a more fruity flavor or something. And on the inside licorice and some mint, kind of mint. And these ones are really cute. <laughs> like. These are like old, nostalgic, popular kind of candies. Usually they say it's more so for the old people, but I don't know. But they made like really, really, really tiny ones. So it's, they're, they're in here somewhere. <laughs> I have never actually tried these ones. <laughs> they're just so big. Are they that popular? Like some people love them so much that you want a big one. They're very soft. Yeah, I can understand why they're popular. A lot of taste of uh, cola. Yeah. So, the smiley face one. It looks really exciting. I, I can guess it's quite thick to taste. Come on. It looks really good. 
<laughs> it's almost like more like fika <laughs> a fika thing i don't know if i would call this candy some kind of filling in there very nice these ones rum cream and caramel i think it's like a is it is it a, is it a turtle shield pade yes it's a turtle <laughs> danmark it's from the Dan Dan danish people it's supposed to have some kind of filling in it yeah. You can really taste that it has like a strong flavor of rum. Quite nice because I actually do like <laughs> the candies with the... We have these kind of ones that are filled with like... This is filled with punch. It's a little bit of alcoholic candies. So this one, really nice. Okay, so then we have the Marabou Choco Moments. Let's have a Choco Moment. More chocolatey, yes, but a little bit like these ones. Kind of similar. And then for being a person that loves candy quite a lot, of course there are some candies that I don't really enjoy. And those are the typical ones where it's like, you know, peanuts, peanut butter, peanut butter taste favorite. These are my least favorites, probably. American peanut and salty caramel. It's like a big peanut. Yeah. It's kind of good. It doesn't have that much flavor of uh, the peanut butter, peanut taste. These ones are good, <laughs> but they're so big. So you may eat like one or two. Some people can probably take a lot of them. These ones are new because this one has now the taste of uh, cinnamon bun, which is very interesting. That's really good. You can really taste the flavor of like cinnamon, but it is heavy. So if you eat like one, you are very quickly feeling like Ugh. Very full. Here we have creamy peanuts. I don't know. Do I want to taste it? <laughs> but it wasn't actually that bad. The peanut flavor isn't super strong. And it has actually a bit of salt in it. Which is more nice than when it's just strong peanuts. We have the waffle. <laughs> yeah, I've tasted it. It's not super strong flavors in this one. But it's a really nice texture. Quite a, quite a good aftertaste. Like the waffle taste comes more and more afterwards sour glue worms a little bit stale lots of flavors tiny tiny sourness but really good do you recognize this this is mango flavor mango is definitely new cola co like coca-cola is really good Tastes a little bit artificial. Like I'm getting that small, small hint of like perfume, kind of soap-ish. When you get that small artificial taste in your mouth, it's a little bit, a little bit weird. Still good though, still good. And then these ones. These are more a little bit like for the nature candy kind of shelf. Uh, because we have those kind of shelves also, like it's more nature candy. It's like a lot of yogurts, yogurt flavors, corn, <laughs> kind of crunchy corns and popcorns and nuts and all of that. So these are popcorn dipped in uh, yogurt kind of... I don't remember the flavor of it though, but it, it was amongst all of the candy, so... No. Kind of nice, mostly tastes like yogurt with some kind of... Caramel? Wasabi flavor. Mm. Mm. Just putting one of those wasabi things in your mouth. There's, they're just weirdly good. We have the teeth. Typical, <laughs> typical Halloween. I don't, I don't remember, but I think this, this doesn't taste very much, but they're funny to eat. Starting to already feel a little bit full. Karl Fatzer also comes out with different flavors sometime here and there. Here we have a mango one. It's a new. I've never seen it at least. But it's a really, really faint taste of mango. It's not very strong. It's there, but it's super tiny. So you have to take your time to eat this one to really get it around on your tongue so you can actually get the flavor. I might have, of course, missed something, but most of it I have tried at some point. Most of them I remember. Some of them I might have forgotten a little bit. But many of them are also a bit similar to each other in like flavors and such. Now the body gotta process all of that. It's always very heavy to eat candy because in the long run it's not very good for your body. Sugar is not good for your body, it's inflammatory and everything. It tastes very good, but of course with like all things in life, eat it with moderation, have a balance. Don't eat too much and don't eat too often. And when you do eat it, enjoy it, like really. 
take in the flavors. Don't only eat it because it's sugar, eat it because it's, you know, it's flavors and it's sweet and it's nice. <laughs> but now I have tasted a little bit, I've talked about it, and now I can actually enjoy all the rest of the candy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It will probably take a good long time before I eat all of this candy, but that's not spot on hard. So I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing it. If you have any questions or anything to add or like wishes of things that I could also do videos on, put it in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this episode or anything in the episode, please press that thumbs up button for love and support. It really helps the channel and it helps with the algorithm and all that. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. We have a subscribe button in one of the corners. We also have a subscribe button when the end of the screen appears. And underneath the usual with a notification bell button if you do want notifications on when my videos are coming out. And also if you're new here, do consider watching some of my other content. We have some suggestions here or otherwise just go to my channel and see if there's something that would, you would like. So until I see you in another video, have a great day, have a great week and stay strong trooper. Bye!